Hey guys, it's the Solo Clothy, and today on Solo is some Monster Analysis video, we're going to be going over Vosker, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get him out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Vosker is a sub and his traits are possession immunity, stun immunity, and torture immunity. So his rank 3 is really good, but the other two are really bad. But I guess if you have them both, it's almost full control immunity, but there's still quite a few things you can do to him. So yeah, they're not super amazing or anything. And then his relics are staff and mask, which are both pretty good. If we go on down to his uh, pros and cons, he has access to spammable space time, which is uh, very good. He also has good relic slots, great speed, access to double damage and vulnerable, and access to precision and true vision. And then his cons are no NER, PER, no trade disabled, terrible trade besides status caster, nature in a fire meta, trash move pool, and moderate cooldowns. So if we go on down to his moves, he has an AoE vulnerable, which is amazing, and that also does a little bit of damage. He also has an ally double damage and space time, which is a great move for bounty hunts because you can put that double damage on and then you can't get hit at all which is great and then he also has a team damage boost with precision which is also a great move for bounty hunts and another ally space time with zero stamina zero cooldown which is a very good move so this monster's moveset is almost built completely around bounty hunts i don't think anything else really would be good for this monster so i would definitely run him with three speed runes and then put him on a bounty hunt have him go first and then give him the double damage with space time on any of your attackers and then they will be able to do a lot of damage just make sure he goes before your attacker and yeah that will be perfect so yeah this monster is definitely good for bounty hunts in normal pvp i don't really see this monster being of any use because it doesn't have per or ner which are both kind of important for normal pvp and yes trade isn't that great either it doesn't really help him at all so yeah just stick to using this monster in bounty hunts and besides that he won't really be much help at all but yeah, it's still definitely worth getting since it is in a breeding event and it is free to do. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be getting a Vosker and what you guys think of him. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.